everybody. Welcome to your weekend reading for October 19th through the 20th of 2019. Holy crap, it's already starting. How was your week, everyone? So we're going to begin with the Angel Answers Oracle Cards. This weekend, um, wow, we have a push and pull type of an energy. Look at this. Let go and then take action. So... What are we having to let go of? And what is it that needs you to move and take action? The right action steps. I feel like for some of you, this is two different groups. That's the first thing that I'm getting. That some of you are in a cycle in a phase in your life where you need to let go of something this can be a person a situation a process uh, a mentality a thought process whatever it is someone here needs to let go of it whereas another group of you need to take action i feel like this is like the yin and the yang basically my bracelets it's the yin and the yang energy it's the yin is, you know, allowing things to come to you, letting go, receiving the energy, you know, just laying back and just receiving it and waiting and trusting in the divine timing. Whereas another group here needs to take on more of that yang masculine energy where we are moving forward and we're taking action and we're being bold and we're being courageous and we're being productive and we're taking responsibility okay so for whatever the situation is i really feel like there's a yin and a yang a push and a pull maybe you're feeling that uh for some of you but i feel like at the end of the day it's up to you if you need to let go or if you need to take action all right we're gonna get into the tarot i'm going to Okay, yeah, okay, we're starting with the Empress. The Empress is all about growth, creativity. So I feel like the universe at this point, with the energies that are going on in the sky, it's all about focusing on what will be able to grow in your life. Is there a potential of growth? Okay, so whatever is going on, relationship, job, situation, does it allow you to sit like this? Does it allow you to sit pretty and hang back and say, you know, I got this. I am a creative force. The Empress is all about birthing something. You're birthing something new. She's pregnant. For some of you, this means pregnancy. This is the planet of Venus, the planet of relationships, the planet of beauty. So the Empress here, you know, sits in her beauty waiting for things to grow but she's all about growth and she lets things grow naturally are you dealing with an empress are you dealing with someone who is very independent and growing on her own oh but then we have the chariot someone here comes forward with the chariot someone there's some movement with the chariot some of you maybe are at a distance from, from one another. Some of you might be dealing with cancer or cancer energy. Now, the moon will be in cancer this weekend, and it will be squaring the sun, which creates a lot of tension in the air, and it creates a lot of emotional frustration, I would say, because Libra, the sun is in Libra, and the moon is in cancer, and Libra is all about relationships and connection with other people, whereas it's a little bit detached you know libra is a, a, an air sign so it can be detached all the way it wants to connect it wants to partner up it can also be very detached and want its space whereas cancer wants to feel secure and comfortable and loved so squaring means that there's tension there's some frustration emotional frustration that you might feel within your partnerships for some of you hang man so this is telling me that, again, we have this push and pull type of an energy where something wants to come forward, but at the same time, it's pausing. It's, being, it's stuck. It's stuck in the air like the hangman. Hmm. 
What other energies are coming forward for my collective? Ooh. Ah, we got that Queen of Swords, like we saw in the weekly reading. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is an energy, a person who is going to be communicating their intentions very clearly. Um, setting their boundaries very clearly as well. Emotionally detached, relies on her logic and not on her emotions. And then we got the Eight of Swords, which is a card of stress and fears. And it's all about our thoughts. Swords are thoughts. So it's like, what are you overthinking? What is making you feel so stressed out about reunions? For some of you, reunions with other people, reunions with a past person. This can be party, celebration. What is stressing you out? What is making you feel like you are trapped? This is mental entrapment. Okay, when it comes to coming together. For some of you, there's a third party involved. I'm sorry to say someone here is involved with someone else. You know, this is third party situations for some of you, not all of you. But the world card at the bottom of the deck tells me that uh, things are coming to an end here. There's, there has to be a completion, a conclusion, a closure to this situation that you're living. Yep, and we got the tower again. So over the weekend, we got another tower energy, meaning something unexpected comes, shakes up the situation, the foundation. The foundation here needs to be rebuilt. These are wake up calls, guys. These are eureka moments. These are, this is the universe coming to shake you up, shake you out of the situation that is no longer for your highest good, for the path that you're about to step into. And if I look at the high priestess, for some of you, information is not being revealed. Reveal. The high priestess, you know, hides information, keeps secrets. She's like the secret keeper. You know, she uses her intuition. And this is what, you know, the, the universe is asking you to do. Use your intuition. You know, some, some information or something is being hidden from you. Maybe this third party, someone's cheating. This is why you're feeling stressed about it. Some of you are feeling stressed about getting together with other people. This is, you know, get-togethers. But this can also be, oh, I'm sharing my cup with a third person. So, shady people. When the th tower hits, it means like this situation no longer will persist and secrets will be revealed. Now, I wanted to get an animal totem. I usually don't use this deck. It's been a while. They are huge, as you can see. They're really hard to sh shuffle. So I'm going to try to get one and hopefully not like the entire deck as advice cards or advice card, whatever wants to come out for the weekend energy. What advice, what animal totem message does my collective need to know? Ooh. Quick, the hawk. Wow, I've never seen this one. Check this out. The hawk is a messenger. Spirit is sending you a message or sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Yes, with the high priestess. Focus on your priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. In order to ascend, guys, you need to go through a tower moment. There needs to be some sort of destruction, you know, whether that's, you know, that comes in different forms for everybody. But something here needs to change. And sometimes the universe here comes and intervenes. And so this is what it's telling me. In order for you to ascend to a higher level, in order for you to improve in, your, in the situation, it's telling me that you need to let go of something. Something that no longer carries a vibration that is based on the new journey that you're about to embark on. So let me read this again. Spirit is sending you messages, okay, with the hawk. It's a messenger. Someone's coming in or something's coming in to send you information. Open your greater vision. Open your eyes to see the signs. You're not seeing the signs. 
Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. But if you stay stuck in this type of energy, my dears, where you're stuck, there's no movement. The universe wants to come and bring in this this weekend, okay? For some of you, this is really nice energy. The chariot is coming in with the Empress card. It's telling me it's time to grow. It's time to create. It's time to move forward. The chariot moves forward. But here we're still stuck in this and this with this. And I mean... Why is it not so good is because, look, it's not meant for you. When the tower hits, it means a situation, a person is not meant for you. And you need to cut that out. Let go of that. The Queen of Swords is very good at cutting shit out. And the hawk is sending you this message. Pay attention to the signs. Something here needs to be cut out of your life. For some of you, that's a person. All right, guys, so I hope these messages were um, insightful. Please let me know down in the comments and check out all my uh, links down below about my uh, new bracelets, calling in your person, and my Aries merchandise. Everything will be in the links below. Have a great weekend.